Hey, it's Mr. D, the band teacher, back again for another lesson on the baritone solo, The Powdered Wig by F.H. McKay. Um, what I'm going to do is show you a couple quick things on the music itself. You're going to need your instrument and your original copy that you purchased at a music store uh, for this lesson. Be sure also that you know how to use the pause button and the little slider to rewind um, uh, the video so you can work on sections uh, if you need to, okay? So here's what the music looks like. Let me just show you quick. Um, this is the bass clef version, however there is a treble clef one. If you're a treble clef baritone player, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's got a different time signature and obviously different notes, but this, what I'm about to tell you applies to both songs. First and foremost, um, you're in the key of B flat right here, which means you have E flat and B flat um, flatted. Also, notice your slurring and tonguing pattern here, okay? Tongue slurring, tongue slurring. Make sure you observe that as you play. Also, keep in mind if you do, if you learn A and B, you pretty much know E and F section. So you really have this top section and section D to work out on your own, and then you pretty much have a good chunk of the song. Um, section D, make sure you look at notes and make sure you have figured them out what note and position they are on your instrument. Also, we want to try to aim towards the top note there. On this divided note right here, you want to go for the top note. Make sure you know that fingering. Okay. On the uh, treble clef version, there's a crescendo here. I think maybe the bass clef people could do that as well. And then you have a day crescendo here. And that's pretty much it. It's a straightforward kind of easy baritone solo. It's the Powder Wig by F.H. McKay. Let's get our instruments out and do a little playing, okay? So here's the main melody. Uh, I'm going to play section A right now. Ready? <laughs> Okay, so work that out. I'll do it one time slow. Use the pause button if you need to stop the video right now to work out that pattern, okay? And rewind it and go over it a bunch of times before you continue to section B. Ready? One note before B at performance tempo. Now I got a little slower at the end, but just to emphasize the point that there are parts that are slurred and parts that are tongued. Okay, so once you've worked out A and B, B is pretty much like A, so I'm not going to play it much slower. Um, you can work it out on your own. Let's move on to B. So if you use the pause button right now if you don't, if you need to practice A and B. If you're ready to go, let's go to D. Now earlier I said to write in the note names or make sure that you know the fingering patterns for section D. I'm going to play it twice. I'm going to play it once slow and then once at performance tempo. When I'm done with the section B, like I said earlier, E and F are pretty much the same as the beginning. So you don't need to really work, um, hear me play it. It's just uh, a little practice and you can get the rest of the song. But here's B. Ready? Okay, so that was at the slower tempo. Make sure you're adding the crescendo and decrescendo on your part. Okay, you're getting louder as you work your way uh, from the fifth line from the bottom. And then on the fourth line from the bottom, you're going to work your way uh, softer. So here it is at performance tempo. Ready? I'll do it one more time. Ready? And you can see even I went a minute ago I hit the wrong note. That would be the area that I would be working on to really be confident on this section, okay? So you may need to go note by note uh, until you get it. Use the video, stop it every time um, 
you know, every section that you need to work on to really get it down. I'll do section D one more time. Next note. Next note. And then that high note. Okay, so that would be the area of concern. If you have any questions on this, um, you can go to the contact link that's listed at the top of this website and email me directly. Or if you're one of my students, come and see me and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about the powdered wig. Again, section A and B and E and F are the same. Section D is the area of concern that we need to work on fingerings and dynamics, the crescendo getting louder and the day crescendo. In another video, I'm going to have a straight performance so you get a sense of what this sounds like at its performance tempo. Um, don't forget to use the pause button, like I said, and really try to work this out with me. Okay. In the meantime, keep practicing rock on. It's a great solo for a baritone player, and um, I will talk to you soon.